far from the maddening crowd of the world's hectic financial centers, deep within one of the Earth's most exotic tropical paradises, behind the gates of a million-dollar private estate, live two young women with their fingers so firmly on the pulse of international economics that they just can't help but have it all. And their financial forecasts make it possible for others to have it all, too. To the movers and shakers of high finance, Pam and Marianne Aden are known simply as the Aden sisters. And when the Aden sisters talk, you'd be foolish not to listen. Wall Street, New York City, the financial capital of the world. Here, every day, billions of dollars are traded. The pace is hectic, the competition intense. But there is a way to beat the market. Four thousand miles away, the breathtaking beauty of Costa Rica. It is the antithesis of Wall Street, a calm, exotic paradise of beaches, mountains, and Latin American charm. To most, Costa Rica is a tropical getaway. To two sisters, it is home of a financial empire that circles the globe. Marianne and Pamela Aden have struck their own kind of gold, far from the noise and crowds of Wall Street. The Aden sisters are considered to be among the best financial analysts in the world. They made their reputation on their uncanny ability to predict the price of gold. Now Pamela and Marianne advise thousands of investors on how to make millions of dollars in the world's key financial markets. People pay for their advice, but they started with a simple desire to invest their own money. But look how it's, it looks so overextended. The whole reason that we were developing all these studies that we did was for our own, our own $500, like, um, because that was important to us. So when we then started giving the advice to other people, we still follow our, our, definitely our own advice. The Aden sisters made their first fortune while barely 30. In 1980, they astounded the experts and were called financial gurus. Gold had soared to $850 an ounce because of global turbulence. President Jimmy Carter was presiding over record high inflation. Americans were being held hostage in Iran. Russia had just invaded Afghanistan. Everyone said gold would hit $2,000 an ounce. Everyone but the Aden's, and they were right. Most people didn't expect gold at all would drop. When we felt that it was going to be coming down, and it in fact did, I think that's where a lot of our credibility began, because we were right on that call, and, and it did come crashing down. And I think it was like two years later, gold was, went from 850 down to 300. And so we had anticipated that, and that was more or less the beginning of, of becoming more credible in the financial markets. Born in the late 40s to a Costa Rican mother and an American blue-collar worker, the Aden girls grew up in California. They studied business in college, but neither completed her degree. Whatever they did, they were inseparable. Then in 1974, they moved to Costa Rica. From their tropical hideaway, they set up a communications link to the world. Another thing that's interesting that people don't tend to realize often is that often if you're away from the frenzy of the markets and away from Wall Street, you get a better perspective of what's, what's going on. You can see it kind of like the, from an outsider looking in. The Aden's financial forecast is unique. Most analysts rely on a few dozen financial studies, but utilizing the millions of bits of information that constantly flow into their Costa Rican headquarters by telex, news wires, and satellite, the Aden's compile over a thousand separate stock, bond, currency, and precious metal charts. Jim Blanchard, investment expert, describes what makes the Aden so successful. They are absolutely the best technical analysts in the world. Uh, it's very commonplace in the financial community to find even uh, very big brokerage firms who do not do all that much original research. Maybe five or six charts in one major publication. Pam and Mary Ann have maintained for years uh, computer-aided studies uh, that amount to uh, tens of thousands of man hours. Stocks really hit another, another high. Commodities is a man's world, and in the beginning, many considered the Aden's lightweights. They were young, unknown, and they were women. Their forecasts seemed outlandish, but the Aden's deflated the critics with their accuracy. Obviously, there's been people that have not been nice at all. They've been very, and perhaps it was because they felt threatened, perhaps they didn't like the idea of women entering their, the men's world. Wall Street is a man's world. And it's tough to get admitted. 
Being a woman and new to the game only adds to the stress of making or losing other people's money. There's an intense amount of pressure. If you have one bad call, it could literally mean multiplied by tens of thousands of subscribers, hundreds of millions of dollars being lost. So that's a lot of weight to have on your shoulders. Pam and Marianne are happily married. Both sisters have two children. They want to give them the fresh air and calm seas of Costa Rica instead of the mean streets of the big city. They work hard at juggling motherhood and the stock market. Only weeks after the birth of her son, Pam had one eye on the baby and one eye on the declining dollar. I would literally breastfeed in one room and then go into the next room at work and plot on the charts. And then I got it where, where I fit him in, so I was rocking him at a certain beat with tapping his rocker, and he would be fine while I was working. And so it just fit in beautifully at that time. We've, I felt satisfied on both points of being a mother and, and also being able to get my work done. Wars, revolution. No global event goes unnoticed by the Aidens. It's going to bring the stock market down, the bond market down, and it's going to be the reason for the corruption that's overdue in platinum and therefore gold. International treaties, new heads of state, natural disasters. Few can interpret their financial impact like these two women. Everything seems to be fitting in. Yeah, fitting in for an upward correction in the dollar, downward pressure on the metals. And the yen especially, it, it just continues. Even though it's so oversold, it's just bombing out the dollar versus the yen. Same with Canadian dollar. The Aidens keep on top of the trends, but they're realistic about their predictions. No analyst can be right 100% of the time. It's just not, it's not possible. And just for the fact that you're in that business, you're going to make mistakes. But hopefully your, your goal is to be um, right a lot more than you're wrong. Making money with money has brought wealth and fame to the Aidens. But Pam and Marianne... As, as criterion, I suppose we are women who have it all, but it's definitely not what people think it is. Those things do not bring... Pursuing their own formula for success, the Aidens have found that delicate balance between their professional and private worlds. Working together, they've proven that women don't have to sacrifice anything to have it all. On this episode of Women of the World, you've met some extraordinary examples of women whom we think, in their own unique way, have it all. What makes each of these women truly special is not necessarily what they had to start with, but rather how they used it. Like beauty, having it all is in the eye of the beholder. The essential and important things in life truly remain the same, no matter where you are, or what you have. I'm Jane Seymour, and thank you for joining me on the continuing series, Women of the World.